You may now want to take a couple of minutes to consider where you are as a school. Familiarise yourself with the design thinking model on the CSC curriculum website. Navigate around the different sections. Which of the activities in the table have you as a school already done? Which do you feel secure with? Which may need revisiting? As you can see from the diagram, this design thinking model is not moving from one end to the other. It very much revisits and moves backwards to enable you to then move forward. It's underpinned by learner and stakeholder engagement. You may develop some ideas within your curriculum and assessment design within the ideate stage. You may then put together a prototype, trial some aspects. You may use an inquiry approach. You'll be testing those then, implementing. But you'll be certain to review and reflect and revise and may move back along the design thinking model to then allow you to move forward. We're now going to have a look at identifying strands of progression across the descriptions of learning that you may use to help structure your school level curriculum. As you can see in the screenshot, this is taken from the expressive arts area of learning experience. Looking within the first what matters statement. Progression step one, two and three is clearly displayed, but with the toggle, you can easily move to progression step four and five. As you are aware, at the end of progression step one, this aligns to three years of learning. These descriptions of learning describe the learning within each of these progressive steps. Micro steps are needed within these descriptions of learning to, tra to transition from progressive step one to progression step two. From the very beginning, from novice to progression step one, to two, to three, to four, to five, the expert. Schools need to break down and articulate these micro steps in learning. From this, Schools and practitioners can then plan their medium term and short term planning. What are the themes then as schools that you will use to bring this learning to life? Within the assessment guidance, within the curriculum framework, it very clearly says that descriptions of learning are not statements that can be ticked off or standalone activities. It is clear to see from this diagram that there are strands of progression within the descriptions of learning that can be drawn out and progression can be planned against. Here is an example, a concrete example, to show what this may look like using the descriptions of learning as previously shared. There is no context here, it is important that schools do this for their own context. But what has been put together is the strand of progression, as identified in the previous slide. The steps of learning from novice to mastery that are separate from themes and context that then bring the learning to life. These steps of learning have been identified and written within this document. It's important to recognise that progression is not linear. Hence why at the top of this diagram, you can see the arrows are revisiting, are returning and are enabling the movement through the learning continuum. 
within the progression steps at the top, they have been labelled with year groups just to help thinking. But actually, this is an area that can be developed and these year groups may not need to be there. They are just there to help you recognise how the learner needs to move forward in their learning. It's important that we understand where they are now, where they need to go to next and how they will get there. It may be a good time to pause this video and to discuss this further in your school. Have a look at the expressive arts area of learning experience on Hub. Look at the strands of progression. How would you break these down to show progression within a three year progression step? What would this look like for your learners in your school? For further information to support you as you design your school curriculum, please visit the Curriculum for Wales area within the CSC website. Here you will find links to all the professional learning opportunities, resources, research and the latest up-to-date information.